Hey YouTube, I'm making my review for the movie Breaking Dawn Part 1. It is November 18th, 2011, opening day. Um, I saw the movie at 6.20 p.m. Um, there's going to be a lot of spoilers in this, like, I'm going to ruin the movie for you pretty much. So, well not ruin it, but you're going to know a lot about it. So if you don't want to know anything about the movie, please don't watch my review because by the end of this this video you're going to know a lot. Okay, so um the I believe that the wedding started too soon. Like they they cut out a lot of parts. The part where Bella drives through the town in the fancy like tank style car, that's cut. Um Alice um, measuring her dad for his tux, that was cut. The only thing that was really good that, that they really, the parts that they put in the movie, they kept by the book. Mainly. Um, the part that was really good before the wedding that they kept from the book was the night before the wedding, the bachelor party. Um, so that was good, and then the next day is the wedding. Seriously, the the night, the movie starts out the night of the bachelor bachelor party. So the next day is the wedding, and they just the wedding was really really good. Um, they didn't cut much from the wedding at all. Besides, if I remember, the wedding was inside the house, um, and the reception was outside. Um, so yeah, the wedding was outside. Anyways, it was extremely beautiful. Like, I even teared up. Um, <laughs> my husband laughed at me. <laughs> so, the wedding was beautiful, and they were swooped off to their honeymoon after Bella's little talk with Jacob um, that got heated over their normal honeymoon conversation. Um, so, yeah, the honeymoon's wonderful. The only thing I did not like was it was extremely short. It it was not a very long part of the movie um, like I hoped it would be. The, the Their first time in the water was straight out of my head. Like, that's exactly how I imagined it to be. So that was a wonderful moment for me in this movie. Um... The only thing they really, like, didn't pay attention to a lot was, like, how Edward cooked for Bella every morning. Um, they did keep the, the rancid chicken scene in, which I liked. Um, and that... I, I won't say anymore because I really don't want to ruin, ruin the movie for you people. So, <laughs> so, um, yeah, bam, they find out Bella is possibly pregnant and Edward wants to take her home and get rid of it. And I'm not even joking, it happens this quick. The only part on the honeymoon that... I, I won't say the only part. The They completely stuck by the book when it came to the crazy maid, like, obsessing over thinking Jake, or Edward was going to, like, murder this young, beautiful girl in this house. That that was kept in very, very well. They went by the book. Um, So, yeah, I went... I was very pleased with that. So they get home, and the next thing you know, they've been home for two weeks. So um, Jacob goes, busts in, finds out Bella's pregnant, um, runs back to his wolf pack, tells them, bam, they, they come running, and just, like, I did miss, I missed a lot, because unfortunately I had a moron in front of me that brought a one-year-old baby, so I was extremely distracted half of the movie um, until the very end the husband finally took the baby down to the bottom of the the aisle so um yeah so uh, Jacob breaks off from the wolf pack and goes and joins Bella and Edward um, and it was just it was a very quick movie most of the parts like I said they stuck by the book um, this is an ending spoiler, so if, like I said, if you don't want to know it, please stop the video now. Um, 
Okay, so after, you know, the baby thing happens, Bella drops her cup, goes in, you know, the baby, the placenta breaks free. Um, they take her upstairs, bam, she has the baby. The, Edward's just sitting here cooing and holding this baby while his wife's dying. And Jacob's over here begging her, don't die, don't die, just hold on. So, after she's looking at the baby for, you know, in Edward's arms for a little while, she just stops. She's dead silent. No movement, no gurgles, no looks, nothing. Her eyes are just wide open, dead. It was too... Like, if I didn't know this was a movie, I could swear that I was looking at a dead body. They did extremely well in the believing of Bella being dead. Um, it was almost scary. Like, I even teared up a little bit then, but at the same time, it was disgusting. Like, <sighs> imagine the skinniest person in the world with a broken spine and just like, ugh. I, I don't know how to explain it. You have to see it. So they did extremely well with that. It was actually pretty scary. Um, and then Jacob goes outside, cries, come back in, imprints on the baby after thinking he was going to kill her originally. And this is the part I really did not like. He goes over Rosalie's shoulder and the baby looks up at him. The baby is animated. The face is completely animated. So that was a little annoying. I mean, why can't you just have the normal baby look at Jacob? Or at least make her look like she's looking at Jacob. It, it just looked too fake. It was, it was weird. It was funny, but it was weird. It wasn't supposed to be a funny moment. So Jacob goes outside and the wolf pack comes up and they're going to fight and kill the baby. And Jacob stops him because he imprinted on the baby. And the the transformation of Bella is actually pretty cool. They did a good job on making her extremely beautiful. So you don't see much. You just see her body lifeless laying there, um, transforming slowly, slowly getting better, getting healthier. Her, You know, they show the insides of her body, like her veins and her heart. So, yeah. Um, I said I wasn't going to make this video too long, but apparently I lied because I'm at 8 minutes. Um, so, at the end of the movie was pretty good for me. Um, they ended the movie with Bella opening her eyes. So, that was pretty good. I would have liked to have seen her at least looking at herself in the mirror or her first hunt, even. But, yeah. So, I'm pretty happy with the ending, and I can't wait for Breaking Dawn Part 2. And I will make another review after I see it for the second time. Hopefully I can pay a little bit more attention um, to detail and see some parts maybe that I had missed that I didn't think were in the movie. Or that I don't think they're, that were in the movie but are. Um, <coughs> so yeah, um, I did get a few free items from 95.5, the channel, the radio station. Um, I'll show you real quick before I end this video. I got a poster. It was just a blank poster. And then I got these and taped them on. This is a Breaking Dawn decal for a car. And so is this one. And when I get my new car, that's where they'll be going. And these were like trading cards that came in a pack of four. On the back shows like birthdays and all that stuff. Then I got Breaking Dawn Keychain. 11, 18, 11. So yeah, got a lot of free stuff. And I'll make an update as soon as I watch Breaking Dawn Part 2 or Part 1 again. <laughs> Thanks.